Mazuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mazuma Nation. Shout out to the Mazuma Mob. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. Back at y'all with my second video of the day here at Pivot Boxing Academy, man. But I had to stop what I'm doing to just speak on this situation, man, because I see the plot. You know what I mean? I see exactly what's going on. And I just wanted to share it with you guys, man. So, you know, just to start from the very beginning, um, Tim Zhu, Sebastian Fundura, they will be fighting this weekend, man. And since this fight has been announced, and things like that there's been people that have been you know throwing their bid in in order to try to get this fight going you know what i mean or have next as i should say you know what i mean and terrence crawford is one of them you know terrence crawford he hasn't been able to get the canelo alvarez fight and um with that fight being the number one thing on his mind you know he wasn't able to get it and he wants to remain active so he's looking to do some more historic things and that's just become a champion in another division and he sees since he was a wbo champion at welterweight that there's a possibility to win the wbo title at super welterweight with tim zoo holding the crown at this current moment he's seeing his opportunity to become a four division world champion and facing him so he's been behind the scenes with tim zoo's manager trying to possibly get the fight next you know what i mean that's what he's been plotting on and you know i've been a huge advocate for that fight because right after he beat earl spence i was calling for him to either face tim zoo or jamel charlo and with jamel charlo being out of the picture as of right now it only makes sense to fight tim zoo at this current moment however um, according to uh, a tweet that was put out by Earl Spence, he says he's heading to Vegas and he wants the winner of Sebastian Fundura and uh, Tim Zhu. So Tim Zhu definitely has some options under the assumption that he beat Sebast Sebastian Fundura Saturday night. You know what I mean? And now there's a there's a there's a there's a conflict now because you know there's there's two people, you know what I mean, who just fought each other uh, in their most recent bouts. And they both want a shot at the winner of Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundura. Now, you know, a lot of people will be like, yo, Terrence Carver is more deserving of it because he's the one who came out victorious against Earl Spence. But it's not that simple, obviously, because, you know, with Earl Spence being a PBC fighter, and although Tim Zhu is not a PBC fighter, he has a fight deal with PBC, kind of like Jerron Ennis does. You know what I mean? So um, he, has, he has his way to, like, you know, get get to that uh, situation in a in a in a shorter way. You know what I mean? He has the shortcut. You know what I mean? Because you know they both do uh, business under the PBC banner. You know what I mean? So uh, it seems like Earl Spence at this point in time is trying to intercept the fight from Terence Crawford, man. You know what I mean? And this could be deeper than that because I was really thinking about it and I came under the assumption that this is. Earl Spencer's chess move in order to get the rematch against Terrence Crawford. He told you guys he wanted the rematch against Terrence Crawford at 154 pounds. So how would he be able to do so? You know what I mean? He sees that uh, Terrence Crawford is doing everything he can to be the WBO mandatory for Tim Zhu. But if he goes and he fights Tim Zhu under the assumption that he beats Fundora, if he beats Fundora, that ends up being Tim Zhu Saturday night possibly, then, you know, Terrence Crawford will be his mandatory. So, you know... Uh, Terrence Crawford will be the one that will be mandated to fight Earl Spence, which is what Earl Spence wants at this point in time. You know what I'm saying? So it's a nice, slick move from Earl Spence to do this. You know what I mean? He wants that rematch. He wants his lick back, but he wasn't able to do so under the uh, contractual uh, rematch clause due to him having cataract surgery and just overall healing from the fight because he took a lot of damage in all honesty. And, you know, trying to get that fight back happening in December might have been very hurtful to his career. You know what I mean? Because that first fight was uh, might have took some time off of his career in itself. So to turn back around December and try to fight him again, I don't think that was was in his best interest in all honesty i think he understood that which is why he took the time to you know do a surgery to heal his eye so he could come back in the best uh the best version of himself possible with he with what he has left you feel what i mean so that's currently what's going on right now it seems like earl spence is trying to intercept the fight um from terrence crawford you know what i mean so Terrence Crawford wouldn't have any choice but to fight him. Similar to what David Benavidez was doing, he says that, yo, like, you know, if Canelo Alvarez don't fight me, then I'm going to just beat the guys that he's attempting to fight. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like that's what Earl Spence is doing at this point in time, trying to eliminate competition so he, he could be in the best position possible to get that rematch against uh, Terrence Crawford. Very clever move, smart chess move, if that's what he intends on doing, which I'm sure that's what he's doing right now. But Earl Spence has a lot going on, you know, with his trainer, you know what I mean? Um, with his whole healing process and stuff like that. So we're just going to see how this all turns out. But in all honesty, it seems like 
Um, Earl Spence is doing his best to try to get that rematch with Terrence Crawford at 154 pounds for unification. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the WBC and the WBO is going to be on the line between Sebastian Fundura and Tim Zhu. So there's going to be two belts on the line. You know, Terrence Crawford is trying to, get, trying to sneak over and get that opportunity so he could be a unified world champion at 154. But not so fast because it seems like Earl Spence is uh, trying to finesse his way into the situation so he could possibly get that Terrence Carver fight again or just become a two-division world champion, whatever he decides to do. Um, can Earl Spence find a way to finesse? Being that he's a PBC fighter and Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora uh, do business with the PBC, can he uh, you know, finesse that situation and get the shortcut over to that big fight? Um, will the WBO step in and be like, yo, this is Terrence Carver is, is going to be the next fight and that's what it is? From what I understand, uh, after that fight with Fundora and Tim Zhu, the winner has 120 to 180 days to fulfill that mandatory. So four to six months from what I understand. Um, I thought it was a year, but I got information that, that said otherwise. So um, is Terrence Carver going to be the one to get the opportunity first, or is it Earl Spence? And if Earl Spence is able to get that opportunity and possibly beat the winner of Fundora Zhu, does this line up a rematch with Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence for 154 unification and a rematch, you know what I'm saying, later this year. Um, it's a great discussion, you know what I mean? I want to see what you guys think about it. I think that this is uh, what Earl Spence is attempting to get in play right now. And like I said, it's a smart chess move, man. Smart chess move if he wants to get I mean, if that's what he's wanting to get right now, you know, some get back against Terrence Crawford and, you know, ultimately making history and becoming a unified world champion at 154 pounds. But that's my say on the situation, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. This was Zuma TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm out of here, man. Peace.